It's common to count down to a moment in time. It could be significant or incredibly minor. But how often do you count up? For me, today is day 2366 from my epoch, which is the beginning of a period in history of someone or something. So you might be thinking, Cam, then what was day one? Well, it wasn't when I quit my job to go full-time YouTube. That was day 1736. It wasn't a New Year's resolution on January 1st, and it wasn't a quarter-life crisis on my birthday. <laughs> Although that kind of did happen. I'm getting a bit old. But day one was a moment in time that I count forwards from. And so I'm going to create a bespoke counter that I can see every day when I'm sitting at my desk. I don't know exactly how I'm going to make this screen work, but I did pick up a microcontroller that has plugs for an I2C connection. This should make plugging in a retro alphanumeric display a lot easier to code than usual. And of course, I'll need to mount these parts inside my desk. On day 936, I assembled my first 3D printer. And this probably was the largest shift in trajectory to where I am today. This probably sounds corny, but 3D printing opened a world of possibilities. Like before I was making everything by hand. I was limited to what I could buy off the shelf or the materials and tools that I had. Yes, I was 3D modeling the ideas from my head into the digital world, but it was 3D printing that finally combined the digital and the physical world together. Now, you don't have to have a 3D printer at home to use 3D printing. You can actually head to today's sponsor, pcbway.com, where you can upload your file, select like the material, color, and quality, and get an instant quote for it to be manufactured and shipped to you. They also do custom PCBs, CNC, and other advanced manufacturing methods. Big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video and many in the past. Heck yeah, that's sick. Cam. It was 93 days after getting my first 3D printer that I changed my career from IT to teaching high school students at a tech school. Robotics, coding, cameras, 3D printing, pretty much everything I'd been doing on my YouTube channel ended up being my job. There were so many things that I learned working at the tech school, but the standout was laser cutting. Like I just fell in love and picked up my own machine to start using for my own projects at home. Combining 3D printing with laser cutting opened a whole new world of ideas up for making. It says 2020. Is that right? Oh, I've been typing in the wrong thing. <laughs> 2338, was that right? Fun fact, computers keep track of time by counting the number of seconds since a specific date. It was arbitrarily selected by Unix engineers as the epoch of computer time. So with a bit of code, I can retrieve the number of seconds since the 1st of Jan, 1970, and with a bit of math, calculate how many seconds there have been between that date and day one. I can then convert the difference between now and then from seconds to minutes, minutes to hours and hours to days. Finally, setting the number of days since day one to the display output. Now you're probably thinking, Cam, can you just buy something that does this? Well, it's actually how I learned the term epoch. CWNT create time since launch. It's a beautiful piece of tech. Like, you know me, I love exposed electronics and this is stunning. After pulling the pin, the counter starts going up in seconds, minutes, hours and days. A physical object that embodies a moment in time. Now, it was time since launch that actually inspired me to put an uh, epoch on my own first smart device. You know, this would sync a quote from a Google spreadsheet, the epoch counting days, as well as some stats from YouTube servers. Now, the bar across the bottom was counting to 10,000 subscribers, and I pulled it out at 1,905. I think I was like one or two days late because I kind of forgot that I wanted to like pull it out to commemorate hitting that milestone. But now we're at 67,500 subscribers, which is crazy, thank you. That wouldn't have happened without you watching my videos, but they wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for 
day one. The problem is I can't go back to day one and pull a pin like the time since launch counter. So I thought I could add a knob and program a time setting sequence so the Arduino Pro Micro that's running the screen understands what the current date is. But then I thought, what if I made the screen sync to the computer? Like I could make it say how many minutes are left in a current event or how many minutes until my next meeting. I'm often using a physical timer at my desk. Why not just automate that process? This means I don't need the knob to set the time for now. And instead, I'll pull it from the serial communication between my PC and the Arduino microcontroller, making it easier to test and add more features in the future. Now there's a flaw to the epoch counter, and that is that the days go up even if I don't do anything. If I spend the whole day just on the couch watching shows or playing games, the day goes up. But it kind of works for me as a reminder. Like I'll go on day 10 or day 100 or day 1000, I think, hey, like would Cam on day one be proud of what I'm doing? I'm not talking hustle culture, doing as much as you can. I mean like committing to showing up and trying, trying to move from a consumer into a creator. Every day we choose to consume or create. Now, sometimes it's not a choice and it's a necessity. Like growing up, I learned that it's a lot cheaper to create and make things. When I was kicked out of home as a teenager, I was forced to make things that I wanted. I couldn't afford to buy and get whatever I wanted. Heck, even on the channel in the early days, I rigged up a reverse car camera with a HDMI to analog signal converter so I could see what was on my camera screen when it was on my gimbal. A gimbal which I had hacked apart from holding smartphones into holding my point and shoot camera because well, I just couldn't afford to buy what I needed to make the videos. What I've discovered over the years is that even if I have the option to buy something, I often get more fulfillment when I make or customize it. Even like the PC, I could have just bought an off the shelf with the exact same components, but I cherish and really value my custom built. Now, this shouldn't be applied to everything. Yeah, my clothing, I didn't sew and stitch this shirt. I did stick this on, but like, I'm not a sewer. I cook with ingredients, but I don't have a veggie patch, you know? So like, people can create in different ways. It doesn't have to be tech and making like you see here, but it's our choice in each aspect of our lives to be a creator or a consumer. To create the bracket that holds the screen, I'm going to replicate the important dimensions as a 3D model. This way, I can position the screen in relation to the desk frame and then create the bracket that will connect the two together. When I fill my plate up too much, my creativity drops, like plummets. In 2022, I was working full-time, I'd signed up to do university part-time, and I was making content. What I found is that the only content I was producing was mainly tech reviews. I would make custom projects in the uni semester breaks. So when my weeks were just full of just flat out craziness, I didn't have the capacity to focus and be creative how I wanted to. I think what I'm trying to say is that every day doesn't have to be maximized. Like if you leave space for life, that's when the ideas and creativity comes out. Yeah, because it was consuming, like playing video games, Star Wars games, that I was inspired by the desk setup. And finding out that my idea could be a possibility was by just going on social media and finding the mother of all decks that Teenage Engineering built for Swedish House Mafia. The crazy thing is that a guy that built that desk, Daniel Araya, saw my desk build and then hit me up and was like, yo, I've got an original prototype panel. Do you want it? And so this is a panel from the Moad, Teenage Engineering for Swedish House Mafia. And what I love most is the stuff ups. It shows that like when you're making stuff, you will make mistakes. It's not perfect. Perfectionism can be a poison. 
And so instead of getting stuck in analysis paralysis, I switched to it's a prototype. For this project, I couldn't decide if I want multiple screens or if I still want a knob to control other parts on the PC. So for now, I'm going to use a right angled USB-C cable to free up space below the macro pad and then mount the display to the aluminum extrusion so I don't need to drill it into the faceplate. What if these days were wasted? What if it doesn't work out? Well, as a teenager, for years I thought I'd be a DJ. Eventually that chapter of my life ended and I needed to focus on my studies. But the skills I learned from mixing audio translated into the video editing software I use today. And it's only now that I realized that as a DJ was the first time I started sharing things that I'd created with the world. Look at this, YouTube, I'm on trending. Um, far out, I've already got, I could've got any. Explore tab, 24 hours. So Create on the Rise, that's a big thing. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you YouTube for picking me as a Create on the Rise. I missed the emails you said it was actually like last week. But um, that's a big thing. I want this to be on the feed so I can remind myself that um, even though some days can just feel like the same old day and that you're just doing the same thing, stuff like this just randomly pops up out of nowhere. Uh, it's pretty sick. It's a very surreal feeling driving back to the university which I studied at, I worked at for so many years to now come back as a guest speaker to talk about being a YouTuber and how I do what I do. It's very much one of those pinch me moments, you know? What's been most rewarding though is seeing your projects that are inspired by my creation. Custom desk builds with your own variations and style, or even projects like this first attempt at an LED sign by Matt. Unfortunately, he messaged me after he made it and then realized how much it costs to send something to Australia. So it stayed what he's well for now. But what's important is that on day one, I did not have the skills, the knowledge, the know-how to make this desk how I wanted it to be. So what was day one? Well, from memory, it kind of actually came from a low point in life. Um, I had achieved all society's goals. I'd graduated university, got a full-time job, married the love of my life, built a house, we got fur babies, and I bought my dream car. I just felt lost. Like, yeah, didn't feel great. I remember sitting in an appointment with my psychologist and he asked, what do you love to do? And I was like, well, I like tech. That's why I work in IT. But then I started thinking more and I was like, I really love pulling things apart to learn how they work and I also liked sharing that with other people. I remember like primary school, like I loved show and tell, like getting up in front of the class and showing my friends my favorite thing. I was like, check this out. This is so freaking cool. 18th of July, 2018. I remember that night vividly because I was thinking like, God, what am I going to do with my life? And then suddenly all the dots connected. Like it just made sense. I was like, if I'm a tech YouTuber, I can share my passion with others. I can experience new innovative tech, which is like the IT side of my brain. And then I can then also tinker and pull apart and customize tech, which is like the RT side of my brain. And I was like, bro, this fulfills like everything. This just makes sense. Maybe I should give that a try. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't have the skills to do it, but I knew that I just need to try and do it. You know what's inside of you, what you want to do. No, what you must do, yeah? Like it, it like eats away at you if you don't. Show up, make the decision. I've had so much disappointment and failure and mistakes, but what matters at the end of the day is the trying every day, just doing something, trying something, learning something new and applying it. And bro, like now, look at the desk. Like what's going on? <laughs> Okay, display. Same time? Yes! 2,366 days! Oh, that like, that old school type screen just looks so sick. It's like perfect dashboard material. And for the days that you don't feel like trying, remember that action creates momentum and it's momentum that makes motivation. At least for me, I've always found that. Um, I'm going to put a link below to the sign up page for my 3D printing guide that I'm about to release. So if you want to learn how to 3D print or just learn some tips and tricks that I've learned over the many years of teaching it and doing it, 
you can grab that. And if you want to know exactly what I did to shift my relationship with technology to stay on the creation side and not consumption side, then I invite you to click this link up here. I look forward to sharing more reviews, custom projects, and vids like this with you in the future. Thanks for watching.